Campus frustrations rise as food and staffing shortages surge at the DC and Hub. Get ready to shoot some hoops because the Forrester basketball teams are ready to play. It's a small community with big creativity. Coming up, we'll take you inside Roanoke's Ren Fair. Hello, and welcome to FDN News. I'm Jonathan Young. And I'm Corey Donovan. The Dining Commons has been working to keep food on the table, despite staffing and food shortages they've been facing. FDN News' Vanessa Brown and Hannah Weaver dug into what's been going on at the D.C. Due to the pandemic, a nationwide staffing shortage has reached our humble halls of Huntington University. Students grow frustrated as D.C. menus and quality continues to shift and change from day to day. It's, it's sometimes hard. Our menus are built really early on because of our delivery issues or our issues getting products. Sometimes menus have to change. With the pandemic putting a dent in the amount of truck drivers able to deliver, food sits at the docks when it should be in the freezer. It's not just here. It's, I think that the problem um, with distribution is actually a staffing issue on their end. The DC continues to reach out to students, offering job opportunities and bonuses to join the staff. You, the student body, the staff, the people that come here to the dining commons are my customers. So I want to do the absolute best to keep you happy. And at any time, um, you guys can reach out to us, to our management, um, and we will try to do the best that we can. If you're interested in working, email April Slick at april.slick at sodexo.com. The Foresters basketball team is facing a new season this fall with hopes of making it to the national tournament. A new coaching staff came in last year, but after this past season, they're starting to feel more cohesive. The freshman class is adding depth to the team and upperclassmen are taking more charge and leadership. Coach Corey Alford says his team is working on increasing their speed and ramping up defense in practice. He's confident this team can get a bid into the national tournament. There's good competition. we got a lot of guys competing for minutes now, and I think um, it's going to show once we actually take the court in November. The team is looking forward to seeing fans in Platt Arena in November. Autumn leaves aren't the only things bringing color this season. Over the weekend, Roanoke assembled local artists for its annual event, A Renaissance in Roanoke. Every year, Huntington's little brother Roanoke draws in local creatives for a day of crafting, competition, and community. The Roanoke Arts Council started the event in 2008 with the hope that to infuse more fine art into the community. Not only are there unique, handcrafted items at every corner, but adults and children were encouraged to compete in plein air competitions throughout the day. Crafters of all calibers were invited to share and sell their work in this cheerful and wholesome environment. To me, it's just a way to get out, stretch my legs. Um, this is my stress-relieving hobby for my real job. Uh, meet some people, see some old friends, and um, sell my craft. You can follow their Facebook page at A Renaissance in Roanoke to stay in the loop for this artsy event certain return next fall. The film department has been instituting some new changes in hopes of giving students an immersive on-set experience. In the past, film students would travel to LA in their final semester, but until recently, COVID-19 put a halt to that program. Film professors Lance Clark and Matt Webb are creating a new capstone program for campus on campus for film students. Seniors will spend their final semester and most of May preparing uh, and filming a feature-length film. The department hopes that bringing in professionals will help grow students' understanding of the industry. Why are we sending students to LA? Why don't we bring LA to our campus? The 2022 seniors will be the first class to experience this new program. Thanks for tuning in for another installment of FDN News. Don't forget to check us out online at ForsterDigital.net and check us out on Instagram at ForsterDigital. Have a great day.